it on the body. This is the, the size that I measure for straight out of the envelope. And when I look at this, I'm seeing several different things. Now, when you start the tissue fitting, you want to settle the garment on your body so that the shoulder seam is in the right place, so that the center front seam is in the front place, right place. What you can see happening here, not enough room at the bust. Now, some knits are going to stretch and that'll be fine. I like to have a little bit more uh, room in there, so I'll, I'll adjust that. It all just seems like it's a little tiny bit too tight. Probably is okay in the hip. The other thing I'm looking at is I want you to check out the lines and the position of where the sleeve is going to go in. Um, traditionally, your bust size is going to determine both the depth of the armhole, so how deep the armhole is going to be, and the position of the sleeve on the armhole. Um, but what you want to look for in the tissue fitting is work with your eye and see which line is closest to where you want your ultimate stitching line to come. And remember that these lines on the pattern are cutting lines, not stitching lines. I also like to check the position of the neck. Where do you like your neck to come? Um, I like my neck to be a little bit low. I like to show the clavicle area. How wide do you want the neck to be? So is that coming in a place that works on you and your body? And then you also want to do the same thing in the back. Is the back neck um, in the position where you want it to be? So I'm going to go back to my reference point of the mirror and make a few adjustments and I'll be right back. So this is phase two of the tissue fitting pattern uh, process. And notice that I've got all my seam allowances pinned to the outside. My pins are right where the stitching line will be. My hems are pinned up. And what I did was I went back and I let it out at the side seam. So I've now, at, I'm at the point where if I make it any bigger, I'm going to need to add a little extra paper on. Um, but it's getting closer. I trimmed away uh, down one size in the armhole. That's looking better. And I lowered the neck one size. And when I look at it again, what I'm seeing is I think I'm going to take my neckline all the way down to the lowest size. So you can adjust the front neck and the back neck independently of each other. Um, and one other thing that is really showing up is see how there's this little extra whiffle of fabric right in here? What that means is that a bust dart wants to happen. So what I do at this stage, I'll go to the mirror and I'll pin, pleat, and pin out where I think the bust dart should be, and then I'll put the garment back on. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. So here I am at phase three of the tissue fitting, and you'll 